Day 10 of the Trailblazer League, I'm currently doing a farm run. Yes, a farm run. A lot of you may not expect that, but I actually know what those are now. We're currently 1977 total, so we are working on 2k total slowly, because that is 250 points. Base level 80 is also, I think, another 100 points, and if I start getting like base level 90 and stuff like that, I get more points, so I do need to start doing a little bit more skilling here and there. After this, we're going to head back to Arma with the rest of our 200 bolts, try and pull a chest plate because that will be 500 points. And yeah, we're just going to try and get some more points up today. So welcome back to another video. Let's get into the progress and hopefully we can get a ton done today. But before we carry on with the video, a quick word from today's sponsor, Manscaped. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to, well, keeping it clean down there. Whether you've got a D-Long or a DDS, they're perfect for your weapon. Manscaped took me up with a bunch of stuff from their Perfect Package 3.0 kit. And I'm personally excited to go to town using the new Lawn Mower 3.0 Water Resistant Body Trimmer. The only trimmer on the market made with advanced skin safe technology, which means no cuts or nicks when you're at work. It has a powerful 7000 RPM motor, plus it's cordless and waterproof so you can use it in the shower. Now the package also comes with Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Preserver Ball Toner. You put deodorant on your armpits, right? So why wouldn't you put them on your balls? You can get all this plus a replenishment package of your favorite products and replacement blade for your trimmer every three months if you sign up for their peak hygiene plan. And for a limited time, you can get the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Briefs as free gifts. So go to manscaped.com and get 20% off and free international shipping when you use promo code DITTERBITTER at checkout. Your balls and your body. Well, thank you. Okay, and that is 70 Herblore. We're gonna hit base 70s today for sure, but I am gonna try and hit base 80s. Okay, and that is 20 ranging potions made, which is 100 points, putting me up to 29.5k. Okay, and that is 80 Herblore. We are still working on 80 Prayer, 80 Con, 80 Runecrafting, 80 Hunter, and 80 Farming, as well as 80 Fire Making, but we have that banked. But in nine levels, we hit 2k total, which is another 250 points itself. Okay, so there are pure essence on steroids called day all essence where you convert shards into essence and it gives you 50% more XP or whatever. So if I convert this, I get a hard toss on it. So I'm just going to do them all because I don't think I need to save them for any reason, right? And that is 50 points for converting 2000 day all shards into essences as well. Okay, and that is 70 runecrafting helping us for base 70s. Two level off 2k right now. We're just going to finish up 72 runecrafting though to get those 2k levels. But we can hit base 70 soon as well. And that is an elite task done reaching 2k total. Points earned 250, putting me on to 29.8k. And we are very close to base level 80s as well. As well as base level 70s. We just need to get a couple more levels. Okay, and that is 100 points for checking a grown magic tree. 76 farming. And I'm pretty sure if I chop it down, I also get some more points. Yep, and that's another 100 points for digging up some magic roots. And that is the first time we've been on 30,000 points this league. Very, very nice to see a total points be at 30,000. 79 farming just off one magic tree. Jesus, I can now grow, grow dwarf weeds. It's just something I need to do. Okay, and this is 20 stamina pots created, which is another hard task. Why it's a hard task? I have no idea because stamina pots are completely useless on this league because everyone has unlimited run. But hey, there we go. 30.1k points. And that is 81 Herblore, which means we can now make Sardome and Bruise. Let's crush this bird's nest. Put it into a vial, I think. Oh no, put the toad flax in a vial. No, oh, this is a normal vial. I need a vial of water, my bad. Vial of water, toad flax vial of water. Crush nest there. Boom, that is our first brew made. These are pretty useless to us because of botanist. We never want to brew down, but 100 points right there. Very nice. And that is cleaning 100 grimy dwarf weeds done, which gives me another 100 points, putting me onto 30.3k. No, 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 that's all I need. That's 70 construction, which is base level 70s, which is 100 points. 30.3k. Or no, 30.4k. And that is 84 crafting right here. We're just making more bolts to go back to armor with. Armadale Hill. I just got a double Armadale Hill, man. I can't really complain because it's 94kc, but I need that armor chest plate to get 500 more points. 100 KC black dehyde body, dude. I just want this armor chest plate. I just need to get lucky here. I need to get extremely lucky and pull it. And that is 99 range here at Kriar. I think we started at around 96 range. Oh, we managed to get the chain skirt, the hilt twice, and the helm. All we're looking for is this chest plate. Arma is literally the worst place possible for us to go dry because our relics help us with every other boss, including the God Wars bosses. And it doesn't help us range armor at all. It's basically like I'm doing normal kills on 07. Luckily, the drop rates are boosted, and by the drop rates, I should complete the whole set in 127 kill count. That's how it should work, 
So let's see. This right here was actually my 127th kill count following up what I previously just said. We managed to pull ourselves to drop a duplicate armadillo chain skirt, which now means we had two hilts and two chain skirts at 127 KC. Still all we need is the chest plate. Fucking shit game, dude. I got the wrong fu Ugh. Another armor helmet, dude. Another armor helmet. That's my duplicate armor helmet. I have a duplicate chain skirt. I have a duplicate hilt. Any of those could have been the chest plate. 159 kill count and I get a duplicate armor helm. I now have duplicates of all pieces apart from the chest plate. And these kills use a lot of food and a lot of bolts. So that's a bunch of time I'm wasting getting karambons, cooking karambons, getting gems, making them into bolts, mining ore to make the bolts. It's a whole bunch of process and the kills themselves take forever. It's not like any other boss. So the reactions from here on out are gonna, gonna be a little bit interesting for you guys. So I do apologize in advance. God Sword Shard 2. It's not that, it's not as the same drop rate as everything else, but I would still prefer a chest plate. Yeah, I, would, I, just, went, I just went to 3900. <laughs> I was AFK, I didn't even record it. <laughs> I got the Harry Pet while AFK fishing, dude, and I didn't record it. Yeah, I just went up another 250, I think. So while I wasn't getting lucky at Arma at all, while I was fishing for Karams to go back, I actually ended up getting the Heron Pet, and there is another 250 point task for obtaining a Skilling Pet. And as you guys know, I already uh, achieved the Bandos Pet earlier, which was another 250 point toss. Now, pet drop rates aren't boosted, so I don't know what the drop rate of a Heron is, but I know the drop rate of the Bandos pet was 1 in 10k. I'm going to assume the Heron one is pretty similar, so in that aspect, I've got extremely lucky because those are 500 points I'm probably going to have on other people. Okay, and this is 200 Armadillo KC. My mental health has just deteriorated per kill. I'm not enjoying the league anymore. Life sucks. I just want to go back to PKing. As I say all this, stalling, waiting for the kill to happen, I'm not getting the kill, so... I'm just gonna keep saying random shit until it happens. Uh, water is red, violets are blue, Kriara is too fucking tanky, and I smell like poo, dude. It's still not fucking dead! I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna get smited. Please, kill it. There we fucking go, alright. Is it dead? Is it a ch- is it- okay. Nope, it's runette bolts. There we go. God Sword Shard 2 again, bro. 201 KC, still no fucking chest plate. Armadillo Helmet, 204 KC! <laughs> Armadillo chain skirt, 214 KC, dude, I'm gonna I have three sets of armor, minus the chest plate, dude. I have two fucking hills, no chest plate. I got a long bone, dude, I got a long bone, where the- And that is 80 smithing purely just for making more adamant bolts to go back to Kree. I'm having the worst time of my life, no video, I lost my daily videos because of this. It is what it is, man. I have to get this chest plate. I have to get it done. Let's keep going. 250 Kriara KC. Still no chest plate. We're gonna be here a while. Yo. And I just got another God Sword Shard 2. This is like my fifth one. Still no chest plate. I died of Kree. Another f <sighs> 300 KC. God Sword Shard 1. I, I, I have no words. I, I have no words. I just, I just, I just, <sighs> Here I am doing cooking and I've just hit 25 mil cooking XP. I've gone from 13 mil from level 99 to 25 mil cooking XP doing Kriara. Getting Karambons because I use so much Karambons. It's 250 points. It is what it is. I had to hit it eventually, but that just goes to show how much food I've wasted on this dumb boss. God Sword Shard 3. Armadillo chain skirt, the wrong one again. 331 KC, that's my fourth armadillo chain skirt, dude. Armadillo chain skirt again, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. 350 kill count. My mind is mush, and uh, we get rune crossbow loot, awesome. Oh my god. Sixth armadillo chain skirt. Sixth armadal chain skirt. 400 KC at the bird. My mind is mush. I woke up at 11 a.m. to bolt this bird. It is now 5.30 a.m. the next day. I have not left my chair. I'm just bolting a bird. I'm using runite bolts because I ran out of all my diamond bolts, my ruby bolts. Life is not good right now. To, that's an understatement. 
Can I just get this chest plate on 400 kill count? Can you just do me one solid? Can you just say goodbye to me now, please, Kriar? I'm gonna die, I'm not even gonna get the kill. Please, Kriar. 400 kill count, Armadil, chest plate. Nope. Okay, first kill back, we've fished and cooked a thousand more Karambans. I've just realized that there's a 500 point task uh, for... Or a 250 point task for killing five, a, a God Wars boss 500 times. And my highest boss before this was Zami at 313kc, so I was really happy about that because killing that 200 more times would have been very, very easy. I could just spec it out, tell it back. Would have been very simple. Um, as I've been talking, I still haven't done 5 damage, but I'm now going to have this as the boss I have to do for 500kc. I'm already on 422 kill count. So whenever I finish this, if I do finish it before 500, I, I still can't kill it. If I ever do finish it before 500, I... I'm still gonna have to do the most kills because I guess it just makes the most sense. Um, so I guess I am confined to Armadil until 500 and maybe... I'm not gonna hit, am I? Maybe even more kills, but I guess I'll be back when I get this. I was really expecting this little voiceover to like, get me the kill, but I, I don't know. I just hit an 8 and I think that might be it. How much loot are we getting here? Uh, super defense, awesome. Oh. KC 443, 7th Armadil Chain Skirt. I have 7 Armadil Chain Skirts. 450 kill count, still nothing. We got mine runes though, so that's always helpful. This is 81 smithing all from making bolts and smelting bars for the Kriara grind. No way, dude. I just got my 8th Armadil Chain Skirt, 470 KC. I'm legit glitched, bro. I'm fucking glitched. Armadil chain skirt, 482 kill count. What is. God sword shard one. I just got 92 mage, bro. I've gotten 92 mage from tellying in and out of God Wars and enchanting bolts, dude. I've got a 90 to 92 mage from making bolts, teleported to God Wars. I don't even know what to say, bro. And this right here is 500 KC. I've been stuck at this bird for three days straight. Hitting, killing a God Wars boss 500 times does give you tier 50 points, but Arma is not the one you want to do. And still no ACP. There we go, 250 points. I guess we'll take it, but 500 kills, no ACP. I don't even know what to say. So at this point, I don't really know what to do. My plan of progression was to get full Arma, get one Zenite for a Suffering, get a blood shard for an amulet of blood fury, and then go to the inferno and get my infernal cape. This was my plan three days ago when I was ranked in the top 25. Since then I've made practically no progression and I've fallen to rank 96 on the leaderboards. And I've just lost so much time compared to everyone else. 500 kills without an ACP on extended drop rates when I should be completing the set in a roughly around 127 KC isn't the greatest. So I think at this point I just have to take a break from Arma, I don't think I'm getting it anytime soon, and I'm just going to work on some skills to try and get my rank back up. I appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten any progress done, as well as not uploading for two days, it's been a pretty rough two days. If you guys have somehow enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribing so you don't miss the next video, and I will see you guys later, thank you guys so much for watching.